Could a small, unassuming fighter jet from Sweden really reshape NATO's air superiority? At first glance, the Gripen doesn't look like a threat to the aerial giants, the F-35s or Eurofighters, but behind its sleek frame lies a marvel of engineering, agility, and innovation that is shaking up the global defense stage. In this video, we're diving deep into how this jet could redefine the very future of NATO's air power. You'll discover the cutting-edge features that make the Gripen stand out and why many experts believe it might just become NATO's secret weapon in the skies, giving them an undeniable edge over their rivals. Sweden's recent entry into NATO isn't just a political milestone. It's a turning point for the skies over Europe. For decades, Sweden stayed militarily independent, relying on its own defense innovations like the Gripen. But now, with NATO membership, the Gripen suddenly carries far more weight than ever before. The immediate question experts are asking is simple. How will this lightweight, cost-effective, and battle-ready jet fit into NATO's massive air strategy dominated by heavyweights like the F-35 and Eurofighter Typhoon? Initial reactions within defense circles have been fascinating. Some see Gripen as a perfect complement, a jet that can operate from short, rugged runways, integrate seamlessly with NATO's networked command systems, and fill critical gaps in rapid response missions. Others argue its smaller scale compared to NATO's flagship fighters might limit its role. But here's the game-changing perspective. Before NATO, Gripen was primarily Sweden's national shield, agile, self-reliant, and optimized for defending Scandinavian skies. Within NATO, though, its potential multiplies. Now it's not just about Sweden's defense. Gripen could become a frontline asset across Europe, from the Baltic states to the Arctic, where its versatility and low operational costs make it a uniquely powerful addition to NATO's aerial playbook. When we talk about modern fighter jets, it's easy to get lost in the glamour of stealth coatings, high-speed maneuvers, and billion-dollar price tags. But the Gripen is rewriting the rulebook, not by being the flashiest, but by being the smartest. At the heart of its design is a revolutionary approach to networked warfare. Gripen isn't just the lone wolf in the sky, it's a team player. Its data link and sensor fusion systems allow it to share real-time battlefield intelligence, not just with other Gripens, but across NATO's entire air defense network. Imagine a Gripen picking up enemy radar activity and instantly feeding that information to allied jets, ground systems, and even naval flits. This isn't just communication. It's turning NATO into a single, unified organism in the battle space. Then there's adaptability. Unlike jets that demand long, pristine runways and massive support infrastructure, the Gripen thrives in distributed operations. It can take off from short, austere runways, even stretches of highways. In a conflict where enemy missiles could wipe out major NATO air bases, Gripen's ability to scatter, survive, and strike back is a nightmare scenario for any adversary. And perhaps its most underestimated advantage, cost and maintenance. Modern fighters like the F-35 are engineering marvels, but they're notoriously expensive to fly and maintain. Gripen flips that equation. It's built to be serviced quickly, often by smaller ground crews, at a fraction of the operational cost. That means more jets in the sky more often without bleeding national defense budgets dry. In short, Gripen's edge isn't about brute force, it's about smart force. A jet designed to thrive in tomorrow's unpredictable battle space where information, flexibility, and endurance matter more than size alone. Here's the real test. How does Sweden's Gripen stack up against the aerial titans of the world? Jets like Russia's Su-35 or China's J-20 stealth fighter? Scenario simulations provide fascinating insights. Against the Su-35, 
a heavy, super maneuverable aircraft designed for raw power, the Gripen leverages its agility and advanced electronic warfare systems. While the Su-35 might dominate in sheer thrust, Gripen's ability to super cruise sustain supersonic speed without afterburners allows it to dictate the pace of engagement. Experts argue the Gripen doesn't need to outmuscle the Su-35, it only needs to outthink it, striking with precision and disengaging before the heavier jet can respond. When facing the Chinese J-20, the comparison shifts. The J-20's stealth and long-range missile capability seem overwhelming. Yet, Gripen's sensor fusion and networked warfare change the equation. By feeding and receiving battlefield data from NATO's wider assets, AWOC's aircraft, satellites, and allied fighters, Gripen isn't fighting alone. In simulations, this synergy neutralizes much of the stealth advantage, enabling Gripen's to exploit gaps and coordinate multi-vector attacks. And let's not forget dogfighting. In close quarters combat, Gripen's lightweight frame and advanced flight control system give it an almost predatory edge. Defense analysts often highlight its high agility and rapid response time, making it a formidable opponent in short range battles where split second decisions mean life or death. Visualize this. A formation of Gripen's dispersing from hidden highway strips, linking seamlessly with NATO radar, locking onto adversaries long before being detected, and executing coordinated strikes with surgical precision. It's not just the jet versus jet fight, it's a chess match in the sky, and Gripen is proving itself to be a master strategist. The Gripen story doesn't end with dogfighting or head-to-head -head showdowns. Its true value to NATO lies in how it fits into the bigger strategic puzzle. Think of NATO's air power as a layered shield. On the high end, you have the F-35, stealthy, sensor-rich, designed to penetrate the most advanced air defenses. Then comes the Eurofighter Typhoon, a powerhouse in air superiority with heavy payloads and long-range capabilities. Now add in the Gripen. It doesn't replace these jets, it complements them. Where the F-35 is costly and maintenance heavy, Gripen brings affordability and persistence. Where the Typhoon requires major bases, Gripen thrives in dispersed, austere conditions. Together, they form a multi-layered defense grid that's both resilient and flexible. But Gripen isn't limited to just shooting down adversaries, it's also a force multiplier. With advanced reconnaissance prods, electronic warfare suites, and precision strike munitions, Gripen can serve as NATO's eyes and ears, mapping enemy positions, jamming hostile radars, and delivering surgical strikes on high-value targets. In many ways, it becomes the Swiss Army knife with NATO House Air Fleet. And the implications stretch far beyond the battlefield. If more NATO numbers adopt Gripen, it creates a ripple effect. Economically, smaller nations that can't afford fleets of F 35s suddenly gain access to cutting edge capability without bankrupting their defense budgets. Politically, it strengthens NATO's cohesion because allies equipped with Gripens can contribute meaningfully to collected missions, rather than solely relying on bigger players. So, what does the Gripen really represent for NATO? It's not just another addition to the fighter roster. It's a strategic asset built for modern warfare's harsh realities. In an era where defense budgets are strained, where threats come not only from rival jets, but from cyber attacks, missile barrages, and rapidly shifting battlefronts, the Gripen stands out as something different. It combines affordability, advanced technology, and unmatched operational agility in a way no other fighter truly does. It can launch from highways, survive with minimal support crews, and integrate seamlessly into NATO's digital battlefield network, all while staying cost-efficient. 
The real power of the Gripen isn't about dominating with brute strength. It's about reshaping the definition of air superiority itself. It proves that smart design, flexibility, and interoperability can outweigh sheer size or price tag. So here's the provocative question. As we step deeper into 2025 and beyond, is the Gripen quietly setting a new global standard for what air superiority actually means? If so, NATO may have just gained not only a fighter, but the blueprint for the future of aerial warfare. Fly high with us at Skyjet Wings. Subscribe now for exclusive breakdowns of cutting-edge jets, operational insights, and thought-provoking military tech analysis. Don't just watch the future unfold, soar into it.